day for baseball. Back in the old days, we'd call somebody up and said, let's play today. Unfortunately, can't do that now. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, I don't think it's any doubt during the regular season, this is the, the most exciting home weekend that we have because of course, the Miami-Florida State rivalry. So many stories could be told about this going all the way back to the 80s before most of you were born. But it's a, it's a great rivalry. Two good baseball programs uh, fighting for opportunities in the postseason. So there's a lot at stake. It's not that one team has uh, got things all so-called under control while the other team is out of it. Both teams are in it. Both teams have opportunities to to position themselves for a better ACC seed, a better opportunity to get into a regional. So it's a lot at stake this weekend. How's, uh, how's Cole? Cole Sands will throw some this weekend. He was cleared uh, yesterday. Um, don't know how much we will use him on Sunday, but uh, if he feels like he's ready to go, we'll use him for X number of pitches. We right now do not have plans to start him on Sunday, but we will definitely uh, talk to him and see how he feels. It's one of those situations that uh, if he tells us he feels great, then we'll be able to just trot him out there as our starter. Could you then bullpen game Sunday since Sands is on a number of pitches? Yes, if Sand starts, he's definitely not going to complete it. We would talk it over, and I have not talked to Coach Bell yet, but my guesstimation would be no more than 60 pitches on Sunday to get him ready for his regular start, which may be, a, a, I want to say a Saturday or Sunday, but we're playing Saturday, Sunday, Monday there, so it could be a Sunday, Monday for him if he's back to normal. Coach, um, I know you guys, through your careers, you guys have been close friends and fierce competitors with Coach Morris, but uh, this being his last year, could you just reflect on kind of his impact on college baseball in the series? Now, Jim has had a great career at the University of Miami and at Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech was not uh, that much respected until Jim got there. Uh, he was here with us for two years and then went up there to Georgia Tech. And then when he went to Miami, there was some very tough shoes to fill, and he filled those shoes very well. I know that you kind of had this as a somewhat tentative time frame for Will maybe being available. Is he going to be available this weekend? Or? We're going to use Will late today in a little simulated uh, pitcher, catcher, hitter situation and see how he's coming along. I don't see him pitching this weekend, but I'm anxious to see how he looks when it's his time to throw today. And it will be the first time that he's faced live hitters since his injury. We have a lot of, a lot of excitement surrounding this weekend and, and your record, I guess. I know it's going to be just another couple games for you, but is it a little angst, uh, you know, with this, you know, with this series and just three games left until you break the record? Oh, for me to say all oh, this doesn't mean anything. Y'all did, y'all know better than that. But I think what we've got to look at is the importance of one game, and that's Friday. We can't get ahead of ourselves. We know what Miami can do. They go into Clemson, the toughest place to play other than here, in the Atlantic Coast Conference. I mean, it is tough to play in Clemson. And they went up there and won two out of three. They've got a very young club. But you, can, you could see the young club was not intimidated the way they played in Clemson. So we can't get ahead of ourselves. We've got to play solid baseball in order to be successful. I think when you 
when you start looking ahead, then you can forget it. I, I remember distinctly, guys, 1998, we were approaching uh, 1,000. And Miami came in here and said, not us. And they swept us. So we just hope that we take it Friday first, see what happens Friday, and then go play Saturday, so on. You think Jim choosing, I mean, a rivalry is a rivalry, but do you think Jim's motivation was, I was there for win number one, I don't want to be there for 1970. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, great question. Jim's a competitor. I'm sure that he would be in the same mode that the rest of us coaches are. He's got a ball club to coach. He's not going to get caught up on a win on Friday night and, and, and be satisfied. He's going to be coaching his Fanny off all three games hoping to win the series and position himself for the postseason. Did I answer that good enough? Yeah. <laughs> hey, anytime you can do it, he'll be coaching his fanny off. That's good for him. <laughs>